What's going on folks? I'm about to show you how you would change out your brake pads on a Buick Lucerne. This happens to be a 07 year, but it's probably the same for multiple different years. All you'll need pretty much is a size 13 socket pretty much to take off. And on this vehicle, you don't actually have to take off the top and bottom screw for your caliper. Just take out the bottom one with a size 13 socket. And once you take that out, you should be able just to flip up your brake caliper and then you should be able to get to your brake pads which will be right here all you want to do basically just wiggle your brake pads out and once you get the brake pads out like that then you just want to go ahead on it once you get them out like that you just want to go ahead on and put your your new brake pads on and also what you may want to do is push back your caliper. If you got to push back your calipers, the best way to do it is to use your old brake pads with your C-clamp. That way you push them both back in at the same time. So I'm going to be doing that in a minute. I'll show you how to do that. So what I'm about to be doing now is pushing back the calipers on this one. That way they'll go back over your new brake pads. So you can see what I did was right here. I took one of the old brake pads and pretty much put it on top of both of my caliper cylinders and now I got my C-clamp what I'm going to do now is just twist the C-clamp to push back my cylinders all the way back in that way they'll go smoothly over top of my new brake pads and once you've done this you want to go ahead and reinstall your new brake pads put your um, caliper back down and once you do that go ahead and put your size 13 screw back into the bottom of it and you should be done all right folks once again it's how you would change out your brake pads on a buick lucerne this happens to be a 2007 year but it's probably the same for multiple years all right please check out our other videos and please subscribe also this is actually me working on the front passenger side wheel i'm also going to be doing the rear wheel so i'll show you that also all right thanks Alright folks, what's going on? I'm changing out the rear brakes on a Buick Lucerne. This happens to be a 2007. On the front brakes, pretty much, you just have to push back in your calipers. On your back brakes, you actually have this piece right here that you actually have to spin back in. Sometimes you can spin it in with some needle nose pliers. Or what I've been doing is just using like a pair of, of regular pliers like this and kind of putting it inside of those grooves and then spinning it pretty much back in you want to push that all the way back in that way your brake pads your new brake pads will be able to be able to fit up underneath your caliper all right folks i'm in the process now of spinning back in this back caliper i'm just taking a pair of pliers pretty much and kind of holding it and then once you got it like that you want to just kind of press in on it and spin like that and you should be able to spin it all the way back in like I said they do sell a tool to do this with so it may make it easier if you're especially going to be changing out your brakes all the time go ahead and get that tool but you can spin it back in like I just did with a pair of pliers so also to take off your back ones you have to actually remove the top and bottom screw which takes a size 14 to take out the top screw as well as your bottom screw to be able to change out your rear brake pads. And once again, you need a size 14 to change out, to take out these screws that's on your back caliper. And then what you have to do is, there's still a tool that you should be able to use also to spin these calipers back in. So I would recommend that if you don't want to be out here for longer than what you have to be trying to spin them back in with a pair of pliers or something, just go ahead and get that tool, which will make it a lot simpler to spin it back in. So once you get that spun back in pretty much, next all you got to do is remove your brake pads and put some new brake pads on. Put your caliper back on, you'll be done. All right, folks, once again, this is how you would change out your rear brakes on a Buick Lucerne. This happens to be a 2007 year. All right, thanks. Please check out our other videos and please subscribe. Thanks. Also, when you're doing out your rear brake pads on this Buick Lucerne, 2007 it's kind of hard to reach your bottom um, screw pretty much with a socket set unless you got a small one so what I did was just use a size 14 wrench that was easy just to get down there 
and to take it off and to put it back on. Yeah, so the bottom one, it takes a size 14. If you can't reach it with a socket, so just go ahead and grab you a wrench and it should work fine. All right. What's going on, folks? I got another tip for you. When you're putting your back brake packs back on, you want to make sure that if you look at your caliper, the way that it's spun is that the opening like that, see how it is? It's open going toward your brake pads. If you don't have it like that to where the open is going towards your brake pads, you'll have a problem getting your brake pads on because the caliper, if it's out just a little bit, will keep on hitting against your um, brake pad itself. So make sure that you have your opening that when you spin it back in like that before you put it back on. All right. Folks, I'm about to show you how you would close your moonroof or open it if it won't work because your switch is bad. The first thing you'll have to do is look at, on this vehicle, it has like this um, actual, I guess it's like the control panel right here. So most of them you'll have a spot in it where you'll have like a screw or something. This one happens to be back here, which takes a Phillips head screw. All right, folks, so I pretty much unloosened the screw on the control panel, which is back here. Uh, next thing that I'm going to do is the screw that came out of here. The next thing I'm going to do is kind of pull. All of them are going to be different, so you got to figure out how to take down your control panel for your moonroof. What I'm going to do is just kind of pull on the front corners of this one, and it makes it snap down. And I have one in the back that I kind of want to pull on to kind of unsnap it like that. And once I have it loose like that, what you'll see now inside of here is this wire right here. Just basically look where your switch is at and then look directly behind it to whatever wire is plugged onto your switch. And then this one is right here, so I'm going to be removing this switch. All right, folks. Now that I have this wire right here removed, what I did was I took my control panel and pretty much just snapped it back in to the front corner because you don't want to have your control panel basically hanging by those thin wires because it could break it. So now that I have this down, this right here is basically what my switch is connected into that's actually controlling my moonroof. So if this switch right here goes bad, it's not going to work right. So the next thing that you want to do is... What I have is like a little piece of wire that I pretty much took off of an old um, phone charger, anything like that I just got. And I'm basically going to be jumping these holes. All right, guys, I'm about to show you how to let your window up or down. Sometimes your window, your actual, um, your, your window switch may break on this car. There's just one screw that's inside of here that I'm going to take out. You'll see your screw, just wherever you got to disconnect to get to this one. Once I take that screw out, I could pull this loose. And this right here is actually your window power. This is what controls your window up and down. So up for this one, I'm just going to pop this out. Now, this right here is what I can use now to let my window go up and down just in case my switch goes out. Now I'm going to show you how to do it. First thing you want to do is have your car turn forward. Not on, but turn to where you can get power to. You'll hear your cars turn forward. The next thing I'm going to use is like these little wires right here I'm just going to use to jump it with. You're going to have to figure out if you look closely inside of here you'll see there's little metal basically like little metal things inside of some of the holes. You got two on this side and you got four over here. You just have to figure out which wire goes into which one and then jump to the other side. So what I'm going to do first is I have to use two wires for this. I'll stick this wire to let my window down I'm going to stick this one in the first slot 
and then I'll take this piece of wire you may see a couple sparks sometime if you get it wrong but don't worry about it. it's not gonna damage anything It'll just be a little spark telling you that the that basically you you got power run to power so I wouldn't worry about that and once you get that then I'm gonna take the other wire on here and I'll run it from the second one